All right, so I'm getting on all my snow stuff because I filmed this two months ago and may or may not have forgotten about it. <laughs> but here we go with this little daily routine. So first thing I do when I would go out in the barn, obviously check on all my babies, make sure that they're okay, and then throw hay to Nolly near Romeo. There they are. And at the time I filmed this, I had sheep. So I had to make separate piles so that they didn't have to fight over their feed. And then, of course, give little Nollies hugs and kisses. Um, here I'm getting the pigs food. They get switched up. So sometimes they'll get oats, sometimes they'll get corn mash. It all really depends. And then they get treats too. There's Martha and big hammy boy. Honestly, I don't even know how old Hamilton is getting. So every day that he just gets up is honestly a bonus for us. Um, give him some love too. And then when I walked out into the barn, Bonnie or May May had her head stuck in the gate. And that's something where, you know, if you want to go to college to be a farmer, they can't prepare you for. It's just all the unexpected stuff. And here, back when I had baby Harlow, getting her halter on, because I took her and Clayton out to turn out every single day, which is just a big pasture. Um, she does get hay. I don't know why she's acting like she's starving right there. Um, so here I'm getting Clayton, and then they stay out in the pasture all day. And then they have access to a big round bale out with Oakley. So leading Harlow and Clayton together in and out every day, we were able to figure out a system of how, because obviously I don't have any free hands for gates and stuff. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so proud. Hopefully, I might or may not be getting a new little baby this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but here we go. Harlow always got her grain first because she's just a little mare, a little feisty. I do make them wait though. I don't let them immediately get grain. I make them wait for me to take off their halter. And then here I'm leading Clayton over to his little bucket. And Oakley follows us because she's just a little chunky girly. I think Clayton thought I already put something in there for him. But there Oakley gets her little treat and then make Clayton wait. Oh my gosh, so respectful. Love that. There you go, big boy. Okay, so I have a four day long weekend and I have a lot to do. Like, your girl is booked. <laughs> and I'm working double shifts because my neighbors are gone, so I gotta take care of all their babies too. Morning chores are done. I have a horse and tack auction that I want to go to today. That starts at 9, but then I also have an open house for the stable I'm looking at riding at. And that's at 12, so we're going to try and work out both. But then I also need to get Harlow's sale ad done. So I need to take photographs of her and also film her sale video all before the horse and tack and open house. And I still got to take care of all their animals tonight. All right, so Miguel was cutting up some firewood and then we took off to go to the stable to go look at it. Didn't stay there too long because I wanted to get to Heidelberger's um, and try and catch that in the tax sale and see some horses go through. Here were some of them. There really wasn't anything that special there. There was the cutest little mini pony ever. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even tell if it was a gelding or mare, aka like a boy or girl. Um... It was so cute, though, and then we went to Fleet Farm, and as soon as we got home, I had to take Harlow out to film um, her sale videos, so there I am getting her, and as you can see, making so much progress. I remember when I first got her, and she tried, I just had her tied up to the trailer, and she tried hanging herself, and she was freaking out, and to see her just standing patiently here, and being able to pick out her hooves, and brush her, and comb through her um, mane and tail, it's just really... Really good to see in there. I'm stretching out her leg. I don't know. We definitely built a lot of trust and was able to bond. Um, there I am throwing the saddle. I'm just so proud of um, the work I was able to do with her. And also, um, just leading her. 
the manners I taught her at that, um, keeping up with my travel, stopping when I stop, all that. Um, eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to make <laughs> her whole training video if I can ever get to that. <laughs> Um, and then before you know it, it's time for evening chores. So here I'm throwing Nalina Romeo, hay, and then also the donkeys as well. It looks like I end up throwing them a lot of hay, but it's really not. Here I am starting to clean out Harlow's stall. And then same thing for Clayton. I just didn't film it twice. Dumping all that stuff out, laying new straw for them. And then they both get grain, kind of like as a reward. And it's also healthy for them too. Um, and then the cows and horses in the big pasture, they needed a new round bale. So here I am dumping that for them. 